previous messages, I talked about a period of turbulence, that the country will go through turbulence, and then things will step in lines. Hallelujah. That things will step in lines. So that period of turbulence, when I'm in the prayer closet, I'm seeing that it is getting close. The period of what? Turbulence. What kind of turbulence? I also don't know. What I will be seeing in a vision, it's a huge ship, umkumbi, a huge ship which will be shaking in choppy waters, in choppy waters, in a tempestuous sea, a ship, not a pond. And when I ask the Spirit of God, what this vision signifies, the Holy Spirit will be saying, pray for your country. So from the 24th of this month, for two weeks, we will be fasting for Zimbabwe. For two weeks, from the 24th, hallelujah, from the 24th of this month, we will be fasting here and there, uh, maybe three days next week, but we will start praying in earnest. We will do a two weeks fast, a fast for two weeks, from the 24th. So it's from up to the 7th of September for a start. And then we, I hope we will be able to hear and count. Hallelujah. Yes, there is something that God has been showing me which requires a, a proper fast. <laughs> we have fasted for, nation, for the nation of Kenya and other countries. So intercessors, we must pray. But this country needs us. If you are an intercessor, Zimbabwe needs us. Things are calm right now. But uh, things may become very hectic. If we don't pray here, things may become extremely hectic. Hallelujah. I believe God will give us the grace to, to occupy the prayer closet and to pray genuinely. From the 24th of August up to the, even as we move towards 20, 24th of August, we will still be praying for the nation, but the pattern, the way, because I operate my patterns, the pattern that I feel and the grace that we are given uh, is that we are given grace to fast for this nation for a minimum period of two weeks. There is no maximum period. If God gives you the grace to, to fast for 30 days, so be it. If he gives you the grace to be breaking in the evening for 30 days, so be it. But if he gives you the grace to do one week, so be it as well. You are not forced to do two weeks because different people have got different situations. Some people, they work with members of the public where people will be eating. So you confer with God so that you see how you structure your fasting or how you structure your prayer. The key thing is to pray. Those who are able to fast from the 24th to the 7th of September, and let us, let us make it a proper fast. I will release prayer points from the 24th. I will make sure I, I'm, I'm busy working on, on prayer points. So I will make sure there are prayer points for every day. Uh, by the time we reach the 24th, they won't be delayed. We'll be releasing them speedily. Hallelujah. So that we, we know what we are praying for. I will clear my brothers and sisters, but we need to fast for Zimbabwe. So I've seen two times a very clear vision of a huge ship like those cruise liners. You see those cruise liners? Yes. Not a port, a huge ship shaking like this. Shaking. And the waters of the sea trampled, seriously trampled. And when I ask the spirit of God, he keeps telling me, this is your country. That's where you are headed. You are headed to a trampled period. So just tell your brethren and the intercessors that they need to pray. They don't need to wait for Trump. Because in this trample that we have seen in the vision, 
lives may be lost if intercessors don't pray. Did you hear what I said? I said lives may be lost if intercessors don't pray. That's why we need to want to fast. You remember the story of John. Whenever I see that huge sheep in the vision, when I'm in the spirit, I will be remembering the book of John like it's, like it's an audio that I'm listening to. You know the book of John? It's a short book where they started to throw out everything because the waters were trampled in the sea when John was running away from his calling until they threw him into the sea and then the sea became calm. But it's a different picture altogether. Here, it's our country which is going to be what? Shaken. Zimbabwe is going to be seriously shaken. And those who are in leadership, they are going to be seriously shaken. Hallelujah. There is no one who is in leadership who is not going to be shaken. Hallelujah. And when God allows those who are in leadership to be shaken, it means all of us are being shaken. Are we clear, my brothers and sisters? It means how many people are being shaken? All of us. Because God cannot just allow leadership to be shaken and then we are not feeling anything. Hallelujah. The whole purpose of God allowing leadership to be shaken is because he wants to shake us as a want, as a nation. Zimbabwe is going to be shaken. This nation is going to be shaken like we have never seen it before. And then after Zimbabwe has been shaken, there are things which will fall. I'm speaking in parables. There are things which will fall when Zimbabwe is being shaken, and there are things which will remain when Zimbabwe is shaken. But this nation is going to be shaken. That's why I am asking the intercessors, my brethren, the intercessors, that from the 24th, right now, up to the 24th, let us, it's two weeks again. Do you realize? It's, it's more or less two weeks, because today is the seventh. So it means we have got two weeks to prepare, because in Zimbabwe there are gods, and God, part of the shakings, God will also be shaking the foundations of this nation. The foundations of this nation are going to be shaken. There are many prophecies that have been spoken by even some prophets and prophetesses who have passed on, which, I, which have not come to pass. And God is telling us by his spirit that we are in that season when things are just about to take place, which will begin to fulfill certain prophecies that God released by his maid servants and men servants. Are we clear, my brothers and sisters? Our freedom, our restoration as a nation will come through shakings. Our freedom, our restoration as a nation, so that a Zimbabwean can go to other countries with dignity, it will come through pain. It will come through shakings. It will come through pain. So that's why the intercessor, whether male or female, they need to occupy their proper position in the arena of prayer. And we plead with God to say, God, whatever has to happen, let it happen, but give us the grace to weather the want the storm. But there is a perfect storm ahead of us. There is a want a perfect storm ahead of us. And we need, as intercessors, we don't need to wait until the storm stands. Because when the thing hits, it will be a series of events which will be uncontrollable. A series of events, it will be as if it's a human being who started them. But once the trigger is pulled, it's only God who will be able to say, whoa. And it requires our, our prayers. Thank you.